Hi everybody, my name is Miss Daldo Burger. Hey, 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 aka Miss Toya. And I am coming to you just to share a little bit about myself because a couple of your teachers and other folks have asked me to share. So um, I've been in Ohio most of my life, except for my military time. I actually grew up in the city of Columbus, came to Groveport in 2006, and I've been here ever since. Um, I'm excited to talk to you today. I don't know if it's morning or afternoon by this time, but wanted just to share a couple things. Um, as we honor those who um, have blazed the way or uh, made the way or uh, are trailblazers um, celebrating Black History Month, don't forget you two are a part of history, no matter what. And so I'm wearing one of my favorite brands by Carolina Inspires. It says, be your mark. What mark are you being? So let me tell you about the mark that I'm trying to leave. Let's start there. So actually, I was not the best student, guys. I want you to all know that up front, Miss Latoya did not listen to her parents sometimes, a lot of times, actually. Um, I actually graduated from high school late. I was the kid that didn't do the best, kind of skipped school, kind of did that. So didn't do the best. However... I did learn from my mistakes and my mom would always tell me, you're not your mistake. If there's another day, there's another day you can wake up and do better. So if you're in that predicament, maybe your grades aren't great. Maybe you're not doing all those great things. You're like, well, Miss Daldo Burger, you're different. Look at all the stuff you're doing. But I too was a kid and I too was in school and I too did not do well to the point that I did not graduate on time. I graduated in a whole month, uh, well, two months after my class did. Still received my high school diploma, college prep diploma at that. But however, I didn't test well. Um, Ohio State proficiency test got me every time. Not a great test taker at all. But guess what? I got back up. But with that, so since then, I've served our country. I served for 11 years in the Ohio National Guard. I did a couple active duty tours. One tour was to Kuwait for Operation Iraqi Freedom, where I served our country from October 2004 to December of 2005. I later on became the health services chief for the Ohio Guard, uh, doing line of duty investigations, bringing our soldiers back from deployment, ensuring that their line of duties were in place for them to get the care and the um financial support that they needed to take care of their families. Then I moved on to the Veterans Health Administration as a senior HR specialist in information systems. In between all that time, I decided to start two companies. So I have Latido Music Co., which is the studio that I'm in right now, um, a recording studio as an I'm an artist as well. I, I love to paint, I draw, I sing. I'm not a great drawer, so let me not make you think that I'm over here you know out here killing the game because i'm so not but i'm an abstract painter for sure and a vocalist and i play piano actually i have a piano on the other side of me right here <laughs> so um those are some of the things that i do when i uh, do marketing and graphics and i work with a lot of folks um who may need assistance uh b2b businesses um other nonprofits, and other organizations um they reach out to me for strategy one of my uh names that um or hashtags that someone gave me is turn it over to toya can you believe that one of my clients said that they believe that much in me but if I would have stayed in that place, you know what I mean, where I wasn't doing right, who would have known I would have been turning over, been turning over to Toya? Who would have known I would have received an award for campaign manager of the year um, for the last campaign cycle, which I ran and um, managed three campaigns, which would be once you get a little older, you'll be at 18 you'll be voting and you'll see all this uh, mail come in with people's faces on it to say vote for them and that was kind of that's the work that I do on the outside outside of the music piece then I also have a talk show called talks with Toya where I interview gospel artists and industry professionals to talk about the great things they're doing so I've been at the Grammy brunch um the Grammy Awards you guys have seen the Grammys on TV I'm pretty sure by now you've seen one Grammy show um but I've been in there with folks like Kirk Franklin um, Eric and Tina Campbell, Mary Mary, um, Travis Green, Marvin Sapp, The Walls Group, um, 
I mean, all kinds of great people in this one particular space. And I've just been privileged to remember where I came from. And I never let that change for me. Um, even though I may not be in the city where things are happening, you know, where music is music and art stuff. That's normally like your Atlanta's and your New York's and your LA. We a little old Ohio, <laughs> but guess what? Just because I'm in Ohio doesn't mean I can't do it. Just because I'm not where everyone else thinks I should be does not mean that I'm not going to be successful still went doing what I love to do with my business pieces. So I say to you as one of the things that I live by is if you don't see it, build it for yourself. Don't allow someone not allowing you to do something to hinder you. I believe if the stage isn't there, the platform, you make it yourself. Um, I think the late Shirley Chisholm said, um, if you, there's not a seat at the table for you, bring a folding chair. So guess what? Make it happen. You are, you're the only one that can get in your own way. No one can stop you. And don't allow other folks' limits on you, hinder you from being the great person you are. Um, my good friend who has this line has a shirt entitled Dim Light Wear. And I just want to encourage you also to not dim your light. Those innovative ideas, those things that make you quirky and different and whatever unique, they're needed. We are all not the same. And that's what makes this country great. That's what makes the world great because not one person is the same, not even twins. If you have a twin brother or sister, y'all are still not identical. So I just wanted to share that about you. I know they wanted more about me, but that's in a nutshell. I've, I've attended Ohio Christian University. I plan on going to law school. Um, I have a stellar award nomination. I've got music out. Uh, I've written a song that was on one of our, our great friends' um, CDs. Um, uh, once a song that I wrote and that song that stellar word not um that song was on the record that received the nomination as well as that that record billboard charted so not only have I worked um with the award shows and such I've also worked with the billboard piece as well which is huge but I just wanted to share a little bit about me nothing formal because I know you're tired of the videos and the and the video inside the video and the powerpoints and stuff so I just wanted to come here and say hey 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 and be me and be open and guess what? Your teachers love you. Your parents love you. And if it's not a parent, it's a guardian. There's someone out there that loves you, someone out there that cares. So don't give up. Tap into who you are. Reach out for help. We are here to help you. We are here to get you to where you need to be. Don't dumb your light. Create the stage and make sure you're always courteous and kind to others because that's what's going to make this world a better place. You guys are already doing your thing. You hear me? We were, we, I could never imagine the school be like it's been. So high five, clapping around for you guys because of what you've went through the last, what, two and a half years of school. You guys rock, you got it. You got it, so keep doing it. I just wanted to jump on here and say, hey, happy Black History Month. Thanks for wanting information about me as you guys celebrate. I'm honored that you guys asked me to do a video as one of the people you want to spotlight. But guess what? I'm here to serve you guys as, as, a, as your board vice president for Goldport Madison Schools. I love each and every one of you and want the best. I know I'm already at eight minutes, so I'm going to let this go. But remember, don't dim your light. If the platform's not there, create it for yourself. Or if there's not a chair at that table, like Shirley Chisholm said, bring that folding chair and don't allow other folks' limits to stop you. Their ideas are their limits on you to stop you. And if it's hard, that's okay. Just keep going. Because if you can get up the next day and you're still alive in here, that means there's a purpose for you and you can keep going. All right, y'all. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry. I promise. I promise. I promise. Hope to come and visit you guys throughout the school year. Um, it's already February. It's about to be spring break in a couple months. Turn up. So I know y'all gonna have a good time, but I'm about to go. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.